We now return to Let's Play Lethys. As you can see, I've added the beautification stuff in, and I've also added a second housing block. I'm not going to upgrade this one right away, but we're definitely going to need extra people. Um, I really need to start getting my economy under control here. And we've got to speed this up again. Really, this isn't that difficult. I just need to get a basic infrastructure underway so that I can have all of the necessary amenities for the elite houses. So what that means right now, um, now that I've got this, let's pause for a minute, now that I've actually got, oh, dang it, I'll have to take 24. I can't set it to take only 2,000. No, whatever. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, I'm gonna have to get the the food situation sorted because I think we'll probably need three sources of food, or hey, we'll need three thousand for freaking Wilhelm. Another relative of Wilhelm demands three thousand units of fish in three hundred and sixty days. <sighs> Maybe I should just sort of wait for the requests. You know? Maybe I should just sit here and have those dealt with first get it done and over with while I'm doing this let me see what my treasury is now like well I won't be able to tell until we actually make said money so did he just put that in now it's in politics we can now pay all of that fish probably not a great idea I should have had a little bit more in storage behind that I think Otherwise, we're going to lose some people. So what's this do for my unemployment? Starting the fireworks early. It's not the fourth yet. <laughs> oh well. So we've got all our fish back. It looks like the fish industry at least is maintaining itself rather quickly. I mean, we, we were able to restockpile all that. I'd still want to bring it back down, but I know that we're going to get a request a little bit later on saying, hey, we need... What does that say? We need more. You're occupying five of the ten available slots. Yeah, okay. So anyway, we've got a good amount of people right now. I guess I'll just keep focusing on food production. Okay. So we'll get a wheat farm. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this previously, but I've discovered that the ratio here is two farms for one windmill will support two bakeries. That's if they are in relatively close proximity to one another. This might not be that close. If I, you know what? Let me look at this. Although this will extend a little bit, so it doesn't really matter, never mind. Um, well, it might actually make a difference. Let's... That'll extend... So it'll really be offset by two. If I wanted to make them even. It'd be like there, and then there. So if I could get it going that way, which I don't think I could, so we'll have to go four more this way when it's not going to go there either I guess I could just pinch it that way so it would still go but that's the thing I don't know if it will go that way one way to find out it will not go that way it'll have to go to the next spot beside it that's the closest I can get I mean it's, it's technically not the closest I can get But for what I have currently planned, that's what I can get. So, if I put a road sort of down the middle here, I can just have one guy going this way to... Well, we don't need them to go to the farms, so I don't really actually want to do that. It would be nice if I'd actually set this up so that there was a circle path. Well, there still could be, actually. These production buildings are like three. So if I have this on the inside there, 
that will at least go for a little bit to like right there and then let's just assume that goes for three and then three more although those windmills I believe are actually four so you know what for now let's just run it this way and then I'll be able to uh, you know what dang it dang it that's not gonna work because what I wanted to do was actually put I think I can still fit one here let's actually find out where it'll fit now there'll be one that fits there so I'll have it come up along this side and then it'll go there and then these ones will go here and this, I think I'll be okay if I just have this guy wander like that. I'll close this off. Again, this has become kind of unnecessary because that we're wasting that whole spot. If I actually had this bent this way, let's do that. Then. I would have another crossroad going this way on the other side, but then I don't really need that because he's getting that one too, so we could go here. We could put a road right there. Oh, I'll get this eventually, and then it will go... Well, if I actually just turn this into an L shape, that'll work too, provided he can go this whole distance. That's the important thing. And I do, of course, need to leave spaces for those four by windmills but there should be should be some room for them somewhere okay it will go like that I can now get rid of no that is the one that will stay there because he I'm gonna have him go this way he'll, he'll take care of those right okay so it goes that way and then I will get rid of that Okay, God, that is a mess. And let's see, so what was I doing here? I, I need a windmill now. Prior to that, I'm going to need safety guy, which I think will fit there. Ah, do you see, see the path? Even though we've only bent it a little bit, he's actually not gonna make it to here. So if I do actually put something here, I will have to bear that in mind, but I don't think I can make anything. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Okay, let's put down that one windmill. Now, what can I fit in there? I could actually fit a bakery in there. A bakery will fit. Uh, and I could also fit a second windmill up above it if I need to do that. So now let's do that. Let's put in a bakery here, and this is actually not three. This is actually two. So, it's all kitty wampus right now. Well, I kind of did this to myself when I put the road like that. I don't know what I was doing that for. But I did it. And then these things are massive. None of these are uniform size. I guess if I save this for industry, that's one thing. Do we have any access? I mean, I've got barley, so I'll have to have that for my beer, I guess. Which is what these take, so they'll have to be on the outside. <laughs> I'm going to have to reconfigure. You know what? Let's just do that now. I'll have to shorten this road so that we can actually keep the little two-by buildings within range of the walker. Okay. So I've got the one bakery. It's not industry... If I put that, nope, it won't go there. And this is too close for something else, but if I put that there, there's enough room, I think, for a brew, whatever, we'll put it here. Still got room for all sorts of stuff up here, but anyway, this should possibly be close enough that they will keep each other constantly supplied. The only thing is, we're going to have a hell of a trek to take that bread all the way up to there. Well... What did that do for employment? Tooltip, please. 8%. Fantastic. 
So, yeah, what I can do now, I guess, is put the wash house available. Uh, 4,000? <coughs> oh, are you kidding me? A cousin of Wilhelm IV demands 4,000 units of fresh fish in a year. The latest, the Emperor's family really seems to like fish a lot. This will certainly not be their last order. Why don't you guys trade with me instead and pay me for this crap? Because I can't afford this. Well, damn it. So, am I going to have to put down another one? Probably, huh? At least one more. Another one would not fit over there. Well, that's all I can fit for now. Oh, God, it's so annoying. Let's put in that wash house and squeeze some people in here. So I think I'll just put that over here. This is already blocked off on that side, so that's a perfect place for it. And here we go. Now we're going to be eating up all that fish. Fantastic. Okay. How many is that? 4,000. There we go. Okay. Move to politic. And there it is. So, not the last time he's going to request that, huh? Is it just going to keep going up and become ridiculous? Because I think at some point I'm just going to have to say, Screw you, Wilhelm. I mean, the last episode he stopped after I failed twice. I'm not really sure what the, the detriment of that is. If there is a downside to not fulfilling all those requests. Uh-oh, what what's, what's going on there? Why are you taking... Why are you taking the wheat? No, no, no wheat. Refuse. And while we're at it, let's also do that with the barley. Now, see, that's gonna put it's gonna put the whole thing behind schedule because they. What I want them to do is keep it stockpiled here. They can hold up to 1,800 in there. That'll last for a year, and uh, so they can keep pumping it into the windmill, who can then keep distributing it to the bakeries. That is the system I was hoping to have maintained. Are those guys bringing that back yet? Very slowly. And we got ghosts. Which, also... I hate the thing about ghosts, because they're a part of the next evolution, but they also unnecessarily take workers from you. Now, that's I've got 22% unemployed, but... Still, it <clears throat> seems a little harsh. Would you empty that, please? I told you to refuse it. You should not have put it in there. So, should I get the elite housing started? Because at this point I've got two food sources. I don't have any alcohol though, so that might be... We're gonna need a trading platform. I decided not to build that up here just because I can't really squeeze it in and there are these big trees that cannot be destroyed. But maybe I can put my trade network up there because I still have a road there. Then I have to put in another worker, another inspector for that. So maybe it's just best to put that stuff down here and keep all industry on that side. Uh, what do I want to do next? I, I want to balance my budget is actually what I want to do next. And there's no way I'm going to do that without exports. Let me have a look at the outer world. Hasselport, that's us, right? Rumendal, Rumendale, rather. They sell fish. Uh, they... that's glass, I think. Fedheim actually buys fish. And they buy copper. Those are two products I can actually... do something with, and they sell the cop... or the... that's not copper, that's silk. Uh, they sell bread, they sell meat, so I will potentially need a third food source. That seems like the way to go. Uh, four wood, on the other hand, would just straight up buy wheat. And eventually, I imagine I'd have a stockpile where I would have excess, and then I could just get potatoes in return. Um, it only buys for 16, whereas fish actually buy for 19, on the other hand. 
potatoes on the uh, they're worth 20 they'd be spending so it's half of one Baker's doesn't know the other okay we'll go ahead and just do Fedheim because I'll need that silk eventually so open the road and then I've got to get the trading port down now this is a massive building pain in the butt that it's going to be let's see if I push it forward nah. that no of course it would not fit there I uh, wouldn't fit there either if I put the inspector down here I'm taking up some spaces that I can't actually afford to take up although if that road is unnecessary I can clip it off at the end of it there yeah let's do that let's take you here sorry dude uh, and then this one is an unnecessary road anyway but we'll go ahead and get rid of you move you down here that preserves those three spaces three by spaces I should just get rid of that road because it really serves no purpose and then I'll put my big trade depot up there Now I know it's kind of silly because it would really just be better to have this sort of in position with the rest of all this stuff but especially since we don't have to keep it close to the entrance since everything is brought in via balloon but whatever I'm quirky like that um, I just hope this guy actually makes it all the way A happy cousin makes a happy emperor. Wilhelm is very pleased. And he does. He makes it all the way. Good. Scientific progress. Engineers of the Imperial Academy of Science just finished a prototype of a machine never before seen. The steam horse will allow Lethus's citizens traveling huge distances on rails in a... Oh, again, not English grammar. <sighs> anyway, citizens can now travel huge distances on rails in a very short time. An invention of this size is making everybody euphoric. Your citizens are more content. Which is good because we're now being haunted in the middle of winter. Um... 14% unemployment though, so that's okay. Export. Export fish. Export how many fish? 800? Now we've had this problem before, but now that I'm supplementing this with bread, I'm hope... Oh? What? Oh. I see. Never mind. I thought things were happening that were not in fact happening, and it looks like, aggravatingly enough, my predictions of keeping this stocked are true which unfortunately means that we do not have an opportunity to get rid of that wheat I, I said as he just took that wheat out never mind okay well I'm okay with uh, the ghosts keeping our excessive unemployment down however does that mean my tax revenue is down we do seem to be losing money still of course we are because we're not actually <laughs> We just now started exporting the fish. I've got so many goddamn fish. Let's do more fish. Let's do 1,200. So, as far as bread is going, that is definitely not enough. We... Uh, it's really a part of it's the long distance getting it into... I mean, this is keeping it all together, but taking it from the bakeries up here... It's not very productive. And I kind of want to empty this because we're taking up way, 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 way too much room. But on the other hand, if we get another request a little bit later on, that's going to be a problem. Okay. Well, I think... Oh, crap. What I need to do is find someone with alcohol. Which is not them. Um, they buy alcohol. Oh, no, I have barley. Let's begin barley construction. Production. Uh, 
I guess it doesn't really matter. I can just intersperse them together. But let's keep them separate, just for the sake of it. And this actually touches... Ah, uh, crap. What? Oh, no. It just looks... See, the, the grid doesn't go all the way to the edge of the map, so it just confused me for a minute there. But it actually looks like we'll be able to extend farms all the way. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I don't know... This I have not actually done the barley test yet to see how many farms per production facility we require. However, I imagine it's much the same. Although, since the brewery is sort of, or the abbey rather, is its own production building, that might be a falsehood. We'll put it here anyway just to find out. And we will pay attention. Uh, when was your beginning? Uh, there's, we're starting in the middle of a season, so this isn't going to be a good metric for seeing if we can maintain any kind of production queue, and I don't have a storage building besides that in preparation for them. We're down to 1%, so we're going to need to have the Exorcist come in here. May as well put him here, I guess. And then we need production building, and I just saw one of my buildings was not appealing enough, and I should not have put this this close, should I? I'm gonna have a problem with this. Um, well, if I put it sort of out here, I can maybe run a road along the side of it? That's probably far enough away, I'd imagine. We'll go something like that. And for now, we'll just put it here. But I'm also going to have to put a roadblock there. Okay, so we need to just put in the only thing... Well, I'm actually going to need a little bit of everything. I'm going to need, let's see, jewelry. Not very much of it, though. So, 800, maybe? Beer is a commodity everyone will need, so that's going to be, like, I guess, 2,400. Um, we're going to need utensils. Everyone's going to need that, so... Should we go six... You know what, let's go... Uh, 1,600 for both of these. Stockpiles have much more room. They've got 8,000, so... That's something to bear in mind. Uh, the herbs for the herbalism, let's put that at 1,200. Uh, steam. Now, steam I don't want to have over here, actually, so I'm going to refuse that. I also don't want to take any fey, even though I don't think we'll need that. Sand, I definitely don't want to accept. Uh, copper, I'm not accepting. What is that? Flour, I'm not accepting flour. Uh, okay. We'll accept that. Silk is... Oh. I'm not going to have to import silk either now that I think about it, because I can produce my own, because they take barley to produce with the, the thing. I don't want to keep that up here, though, but I will keep, keep garments. I'll put uh, 1,200, because I think that's only an elite thing. And we don't want the gold, we don't want the iron, we don't want steel, we might want glass? I don't, I don't think I want glass. Ornaments, I will take ornaments. I don't think we'll have to get to that level to take ornaments yet, though. Um, wait, what did I decide on steam? No, I wanted to keep steam over by the the uh, production buildings, correct. Okay. So, there's that. And I guess we'll have, uh, have a little bit of fun here while we wait for things to build up. Minus two workers needed? What the hell does that even mean? Colonization of the Blue Island. Wilhelm IV just initiated the Blue Island's colonization. This island was recently discovered by explorer Calvin Nemo. All of Lethys's citizens assemble to construct a new city on these uncharted lands. Less migrants to settle down in your city. Oh. Oh. Um. 
That might pose a problem then if I need to expand my workforce. That may not be so great at all. Um, geez. Well, I'm still... Okay, if you look at that, th last year I spent 800 on construction, and my balance was negative 777. So, without a year of construction, I am in the positive. Which is good. Because we've hit, hit 16,000, and we require 15,000. Now, of course, I will not be able to just stop with the construction because I need to build a rather large um, section for elite housing, and I just saw all of my fish go away, so maybe I need to tone down what I'm selling. I might be selling a little bit too much. But right now, it's the only... and that's going to probably adversely affect how much money I am making. I just want to see what this is going to do. Prairial. Is that next? Yes. Are these making anything yet? No. Emperor Hamkirsch. Or <laughs> Emperor. That's not. That doesn't say Emperor at all. Founding Hamkirsch. The Emperor plans to make land ready for building gold mines at Hamkirsch to establish a strong industry of jewelry. This project has been consigned to the world-famous urbanist Archibald Ninian. Hamkirsch has been connected to the trade route. Wait, what? Does that mean I'm already connected, or is it just available? Nah, it's just available. Sells jewelry and gold and buys potatoes. Uh, oof, Jesus. So it's, it would not do me any good to buy potatoes from Forward and sell them to Hamkirsch. I don't believe you can adjust prices. There was one game only that comes to mind where you could actually do that, and I see that my road here is not fully blocked off. Possibly causing traffic snarling. So I need possibly to expand my bread production, because we really don't have enough of that going on. Definitely no beer going on yet. But I only had a little bit. Did these guys put it in storage? Oh yeah, they've totally got stuff in storage still. The real task is going to be seeing if we still have stuff in storage. I mean, they've got wheat in storage still, and they just now started a new crop, so I could probably afford to expand it. Yeah, these guys are definitely keeping up with that. So, that's probably the next bit. I just somehow got a bunch of people. Where did they all come from? Environment is not pretty enough. Okay, so I'll have to do some more of that. Okay, well, 7% unemployment. I guess I'm staying on track with that, but what I really need to do now is start looking at getting elite housing in. Uh, that will allow me, if nothing else, to have higher tax revenues so I can afford all the busy, busy construction that I'm working on. Eventually, we'll get around to adding steam to this whole thing. Okay, well, this is probably going to be another long mission. I think I'm probably just taking my time unnecessarily on these missions because I could totally have had this all planned out. So you know what? Next time I'll have some stuff laid out. I'll have the uh, elite housing ready to go. Possibly have my industry expanded down here. Um, I really need to pay attention to my food because we're not full. We're not maintaining full food the whole time. But if I expand my bread that might be enough and then I might have to upgrade these. But I'll get all of that prepared next time.